Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to use SQL Alchemy to insert records into MySQL database. So uh, before moving forward, I found a couple of bugs in our previous lectures. I'm just going to show them to you. Both of these classes, they're, they're basically typos. They're called topic. One of them is task. And in here, in the string representation, description is the only item. So it has an index of zero. So I'm going to go to terminal. I'm going to run Python. Let me grab the name of this file. So let's just copy that, close that, let's pass it here, dot pi. Let's run it again and uh, perfect. So it did create for us the tables that we required from it. So this is the first table, to-do list, tasks. We talked about this, the to-do list topics. It did create them uh, in the previous lecture as well, but we would have ended up with an error because both of these classes were the same or of the same name so this foreign key relationship would not have worked and then there would have been another index out of range error for this one as well so i just wanted to make sure that we address these errors right beforehand because in this lecture we are going to literally uh, start where we left off in the previous lecture because in the previous lecture i told you that we are basically concerned we're just providing a string representation of all the record, uh, all the SQL code that runs behind the SQL alchemy. But in this lecture, what we are going to do is we are going to use SQL alchemy to insert records into our MySQL database. So we are literally picking up where we left off before. So because we're using models, we need to create a session to query our data. Now the session is going to have a cons configuration and we are going to pass an engine again but what the session is going to do the session is going to allow us to query our data to add our data and then to commit our data to our database so 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 so, so. <laughs> session is really important so we are going to say session underscore maker let's grab the session maker that we have now you can see that all of these are making sense we are using everything that we have imported from sql alchemy so this is our session maker. We are going to grab our session maker and uh, we are going to say dot configure. Let's bind it to the engine. It requires a configuration. We are not going to type it by hand. We're just going to bind it to our engine. And then I'm going to call that session and I'm going to store it within session maker and I'm going to store it within this session. So we just use the session, which is a callable method from the session maker. Perfect. Now that the configuration is done, uh, again, the session is going to allow us to query our data to create transactions. And we know transactions are all or nothing queries. So either all the queries run or none of them will. Now let's try to add some uh, records. So we have groceries uh, topic. And I'm going to say, let's grab the class instance. Let's say title is going to be groceries. The description is going to be equal to, let's say, by vegetables. Now, this is the topic. What are the tasks uh, involved with this topic? Now, let's say you want to buy some carrots, some basil, some tomatoes, some potatoes, some spinach, I think. Um, so all of those will be tasks related to this by vegetables topic. So uh, let's add it to our database. Let's say add a groceries topic. Keep in mind, you need to commit the changes as well. So commit. The reason that we committed here and not committed after we have created the tasks is whenever we create the tasks at that stage, if we have not already committed the topics, the topic ID auto increment stuff is not going to work. So for the, for the tasks, the topic ID, which we have used as a foreign key will be null. So you have to keep that in mind as well. Uh, I'm going to create tasks as well. Where are we? Tasks, let's grab it. So I'm going to grab the class task. And I'm going to grab it and I'm going to say topic ID for it. So this is this, this is not null, so it is required. We need to pass it in here for this table. So I'm going to say, uh, where is it coming from? It's coming from groceries topic dot 
um, topic ID, perfect. And what is the description? The description is, let's say, buy some ba basil, think. Buy some basil and carrots. So these, this is one description, one task uh, about buying vegetables. We can also grab this and create another task. You can create as many tasks as you would like. So I'm going to say uh, buy some uh, tomatoes, tomatoes as well. Perfect. Now we need to save these to a database as well because there are more than one. We are going to grab our session and there is another method on it which is bulk save objects. Uh, let's pass in our tasks. Uh, let's just save that and let's commit it as well. Session dot commit. Perfect. So we have uh, basically created those. We could go ahead and take a look at those. We can query them as well. So if I come here within the tasks, uh, we have uh, we did not run the file. So when we run it. Uh, then it is going to be committed to the database. So I'm not going to run it because if I run it, then I would have to comment all of these. But um, we are going to query and then run it all at the same time. So I'm going to say our uh, topic. What am I writing? Our topic. And we are going to grab session dot query, which is going to allow us to query. Uh, let's pass on the class dot filter by so we know this is the work clause filter by titles so title which is groceries and then just give me the first item so i'm going to say first let's print it as well our topic all right so we have our tasks as well so i'm going to say our tasks uh, we are going to grab session, a little repetitive, I know, query. Uh, let's pass in this time the task class. Let's just grab everything. And we are going to print those as well. So our tasks, let's save those. Let's run this file. So let me grab the name rename copy close that let's say python pass that here dot pi perfect so you can see that we got our strong re representation as well but we have our tasks in here as well so you can see we have task description buy some basil and carrots buy some tomatoes as well we have our buy vegetables as well here so if we were to grab these there we go so topic id one groceries by uh, by vegetables and we have tasks just do that so you can see that both of these basil carrots plus tomatoes belong to the topic id so for both of them we have the same topic id the task id is different but the topic id is the same why is it the same because we have declared it in just one go so we said tasks, this and this, just in one go, right? So with this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.